thank you so much, uh, Mr. Pejawar and uh, uh, Dr. Nilesh Pandey for joining us on this conversation. First to you, uh, Mr. Pejawar, uh, how has COVID uh, pandemic uh, impacted the health insurance category over the last two years? Yeah, the uh, pandemic has been a big, big uh, uh, thing for the country and for especially for the general insurance industry. And if you ask me a question, how is that, how is pandemic impacted? Uh, it has impacted both ways, positively and negatively. First, I will look at the positive side. Positively, if you look at it, the awareness of health insurance has gone up many times in the last two years. And um, because of which the, uh, the, the demand for health products overall in the industry has also grown up substantially. When I say substantially, um, if you look at the figures as of March 22, it is the first time the health insurance uh, vertical uh, new business premiums have gone above the motor premiums. So if you look at it as a line of business, first time health overtook motor, which is mandatory, compulsory. So you can understand the kind of impact uh, it, it, it has on the business of the insurance industries as far as top line is concerned. Awareness has gone up substantially. People are asking for health insurance products. They are buying health insurance products. On the negative side, uh, obviously, insurance companies had products uh, which had not taken into consideration the uh, COVID scenario or a pandemic scenario in case when it came to the health insurance part of it. But uh, as the country was hit, in fact, the entire globe was hit by pandemic, uh, we had to settle these claims. And if my memory serves me right, overall, in the last two years, the entire health insurance industry has paid more than 25,000 crores in terms of claims. So that's a huge, huge, huge uh, payout from the general insurance side that we have seen. So if you look at it um, on the positive side, yes, awareness has gone up. People have started buying new uh, new health products. They have started talking about health products. Um, in fact, you'll be surprised. There's this wonderful uh, decision which was taken by the government where uh, the MSME and the SME units had to cover their uh, employees under a, a group medical scheme. And that has really built up the entire awareness, even at that level, because that was a big question, you know. Uh, though people wanted, people required health insurance, they were not in a position to get those health insurance because obviously they, they could not afford it. But now, because government has made it sort of mandatory for this to happen, it has now become one of the things to buy health insurance. So SMEs, MSMEs are also on their own trying to cover their employees under the group medical scheme, which normally the uh, big corporates uh, normally do. So if you look at it overall, Positive impact as far as the top line is concerned, a negative impact as far as the bottom line is concerned. When I say bottom line, it's because of the large claims that have been continuously being paid for the last two years uh, with the COVID in mind. So that's the overall thing probably I would look at it as an impact. Mr. Deshpande, your, your thoughts on this? I think just to supplement that, uh, penetration level, awareness levels did increase. Uh, while we can discount some of the awareness levels uh, could be, I mean, the increase in purchases were because of the fear factor. And but uh, still the major part is awareness has increased, penetration has increased and it has increased across geographies. So earlier we used to see this happen only in major towns and major, major cities. But today we have seen that there is a requirement of health insurance, not only in the major cities, and, uh, and even the middle class and the lower middle class, they have also felt uh, uh, you know, the need of health insurance uh, and also across geographies, tier two, tier three cities also. You're seeing that people are now talking about health insurance and uh, yes, it has actually, uh, uh, it's a very positive outlook towards in terms of, uh, you know, the growth factor for this sector. So Mr. Pajawar, uh you know, it's believed that uh, health insurance uh, has moved from being a push product to a pull product. I think uh, because of the pandemic, uh, this is one of the other advantages which the health insurance industry or the non-life general insurance industry had, where this particular segment of product has actually 
transformed from a push product to a pull product. And when I say that, it's again going by the numbers, the kind of health insurance coverage that has been provided in the last two years, it has overtaken all other lines of business. That itself is a clear indication of uh, uh, the demand for this going up substantially. I think more and more people have started understanding the need of, um, instead of saying health insurance, I would put it in the way like understanding the requirement of a financial protection uh, you know, at, at, at the time of health uh, requirements. So if a person is, uh, you know, sometime back there was a research uh, which was going around which says that um, the medical expenses in certain places is so high where uh, even a middle income group has to bear these expenses he might land up into from a middle income group to a lower middle income group or a lower middle income group to a uh, much lower part of it. So the costs of medicine going up on one side, the treatment costs going up on one side and the requirement of health insurance uh, going up uh, because of this pandemic, I think has brought this uh, thing where uh, to a large extent, we can say that this has become a, I would not say it's a pull product, but it is not even a product which now people say that I don't want. So they are open for it. It's an ask product. So they don't mind talking about a health product. They don't mind trying to find out about what, what is being offered by various companies. What are the benefits? What are the features available? What are the exclusions? The knowledge of health insurance, the knowledge of exclusions, the knowledge of what is covered, what is not covered, what are the cappings, which was completely lacking, say, two years back. Now, if you compare the awareness, the knowledge levels, the understanding levels of the customer, it has gone up substantially. So that's a very, very positive sign. And if that we can call it as a pull effect, then yes, it's definitely a pull effect. Shirish, you want to add something? So uh, one, one major thing which was observed was prior to the pandemic, there were a lot of efforts on wellness, telemedicine, uh, and so many digital means of you know, delivery of healthcare or uh, coverage of this type of healthcare uh, you know, uh, under insurance. However, that was not picking up. Pandemic, we saw a, a, a very different uh, thing happening. People wanted teleconsultations. Employers wanted teleconsultations, and for their delivery of medicine to their home. So there was there was all this requirement coming in, and then people started asking for whether your product has these features or not. A very funny incidence is also about people started. Nobody used to every policy used to cover, uh, you know. Uh, your uh, uh, ambulance charges. Now, most of the policies will cover ambulance charges to 2,500 rupees, 3,000 per ambulance trip, etc. People started asking that, does your ambulance, uh, uh, are ambulance charges up to 50,000 rupees or 1 lakh also covered into your policies? The reason, there were times like from cities like Delhi, etc. or major metros, people had to be shifted to I mean, they were taken to, there was no hospital beds at that particular time. People had to go to far off places to get a hospitalization bed. So, the, the earlier it was only a hospitalization policy, but now you see that the requirements, people have started looking after, uh, you know, looking at different features of those policies. And they're asking for whether your policies cover, the intermediaries ask, the people, the customers ask. So, that's a very positive way of looking at it that, uh, you know, this is finally now people have started looking at health insurance and looking at their needs and then looking at products according to their needs. That that shows that yes, now it's becoming a pool. There are so many products available in the market right now, you know, offering a lot of uh, value to uh, consumers. Well, what sets you apart, you know, what would be the differential factors according to you that sets your offering, uh, you know, in a, in a way differently? It, it kind of places itself differently in front of consumers. Before I reply to your specific question, I will already tell you that today in a general insurance company, there are two clear segments. One is a general insurance, which includes health and other multi-line products also. Okay. And there are some which are standalone health insurance companies. We call them SAHI companies, okay, which only sell health products, nothing else. Now, the question is a health product and, and only standalone health insurance company coming out with different categories of products is one because they are only into health. But a company like us, which is uh, SBI General, which is a normal multi-line company coming up with an exclusive channel 
exclusive vertical for health uh, is something which is completely different. And now, now I'll come to your question of how we differentiate. Now, generally, when you come out with products, we look at various segmentation of customers that you would like to uh, target. Uh, one of our distributors, in fact, our parent itself is State Bank of India. So State Bank of India is a banker to every Indian. So the natural mission that we have carried in health is that can I be the um, health insurer for every Indian? Okay, if, if, if SBI is a banker to every Indian, then I would like to be a health insurer for every Indian. If I have to be a health insurer for every Indian, then I need to cater to the entire gamut of the segment of customers right from bottom of pyramid to the tip of the pyramid. Okay, now that's a huge, huge task from the uh, product uh, design, product management and product delivery point of view. So what have we done on the product design? Uh, product design, we have designed different products to suit different categories of customers. Now, when I say categories of customers, it could be as small as a self-help group. Okay, now SBI caters to a huge segment of self-help groups. Now, I have to design a product which suits that category. And as uh, Shiraz just mentioned, the requirements of health is identical, whether it is a metro or a tire two or a tire three or a tire four. COVID has hit everyone. Okay, now the only differentiation is whether the person can pay that kind of premium. Okay, now if you look at the total pyramid, the bottom of the pyramid, a large portion is covered under the Ayushman Bharat scheme of the government. Okay, but if you look at the level just above that bottom of the pyramid, there's a huge middle group people which uh, does not come under any uh, structured kind of health insurance or, or a health cover, I would say, rather than insurance. And if I have to look at catering to this segment of customers, I have to look at not one product, but I have to look at at least five to six different categories of products or variants of the product which can meet those various requirements. For example, there is a mass population, there is a mass affluent, there is an affluent, there is an HNI, there's a super HNI. Even within the mass affluent or a super affluent, I might have two or three different variants which I need to cater to, uh, depending upon what area, what geography, what the things or what are the requirements of that particular. So we have developed different variants of the products, different categories of the products, which can even cater to SHG customers or can cater to Jandhan Yojana kind of customers who are there in the bank, right to a product which can address my HNI or a super HNI customer who looks at a cover of maybe one crore or one and a half crore or two crores, which is today being also demanded by a certain segment of customer. Now, obviously, when you look at this huge pyramid, the features have to be different. The benefits have to be different. The advantages in the product has to be different. And also the pricing because today the market is equally price sensitive. Okay. So these are certain things that we have brought up. What we have also gone and done is try to see how we can create some value for the customer. So if it is a customer who is a, a, con a concerned discerning customer, then we, we have gone and done some kind of a tie up with say uh, the recent tie up on 1st of June that we did was with Apollo 24 by 7. Okay, so every health customer of SBI general will today get a benefit of 24 by 7 Apollo. Now, what is this? It's a huge bouquet of uh, facilities that are being made available, which normally a customer of that particular category might not be in a position to avail, including as Shiraz just mentioned, can I can my customer have a telemedicine facility? If, if there are old people at home who are covered, who cannot move out, can the medicines be delivered at his residence? Now, these are certain things which may look very small, but they are at the time of need. These small services that you look out for can create a big, big, big impact. Okay. In COVID, you could not move out, but then you had to get medications. If you wanted to admit some, somebody, you had to get an ambulance to get him admitted in the hospital. The, the, the relatives could not go there. Today, people have gone to the extent of even trying to find out whether your health policy, you know, policy can give you facilities like a diabetes management consultant or a dietary consultant who, you know, who could be giving you some kind of, and that's better because by 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 taking these facilities, the health of the customer becomes better. So on one hand, you are giving him this value addition to the customer on the on on, on a particular product. At the same time, you are ensuring that the health of the customer is good 
which will not then translate into large claims. So it's a it's a combination of wellness, it's a combination of value addition and the original features in the product that you are giving. And instead of reinventing the whole wheel, it makes more sense that you go and do a tie up in the network in the entire ecosystem which is available. So two, two huge giants come together. So here in this case, you have SBI general and Apollo 24 by 7 coming together, joining hands and saying, this is what we can offer to your customer who has taken a uh, health product. So this is something what we're trying to do and we'll constantly keep on doing. And that's what uh, Dr. Shiraz is now heading this health vertical, which will continuously come out with these kind of products to suit segment-wise customers. So we have, we have segmented the entire customer base. We are looking at what are the requirements they need. What is it that will benefit them? What is it that they are looking out for? And in that particular premium, which is affordable. So what we are saying is we want to be the health insurer for the country, for every Indian, but it should be affordable health insurance that is possible to be given to take care of his needs. Earlier, people were coming from little smaller towns which are available there. So people movement has also gone down. So how do you also take that uh, advantage and allow the people to get benefit in their area. So these are a lot of things that we are working on and slowly you will find more and more such features being added to our uh, health products. Briefed uh, quite uh, comprehensively, it has to add that I think Endeavor is going to be uh, products to meet each uh, requirements of each segment. Products will be simple. We could continue to make the products simple. Uh, for people to understand, to purchase, as, as well as we would emphasize to ensure that uh, we service our customers in a more, uh, you know, ensure that we are there at the time the cash test is required. We are at the time for settlement of claims to ensure that our service levels are always kept at a level where the customer expects that to be. So that is the reason we have also started our in-house uh, uh, you know, uh, claim servicing unit at Pune. So we would, uh, we have just started servicing policies, which we will directly own our customers and service our customers directly. What is your growth strategy for the next two years? Growth strategy is definitely there. That is one of the reasons why we uh, have set up the separate uh, health vertical for uh, SPI general. So obviously we are looking at uh, uh, the huge growth uh, for the company and the health vertical that we're looking at. Um, we are looking at penetrating into the, um, the typical Bharat that we call, because that's an area where we feel is highly under penetrated as far as health insurance is concerned. Though the awareness is uh, there, but uh, providing good products, providing products which suit that particular category, which suit that particular geography, is something what we are coming out with. And then that's what uh, the plan is that we move into the uh, tier two, tier three kind of uh, cities which are there and try and give. Uh, fortunately for us, we have a very good brand, SPI, which is known in the most uh, rural of the rural areas that one can see. Uh, at the same time, now putting 12 years in insurance and general insurance, we have now seen uh, how well our products are accepted. People have seen the experience of our claim settlement and all that. So taking all that into consideration, especially for the health, yes, that's going to be the main focus area for us in the next two to three years. Uh, as all, as I, I think my MD already mentioned in the uh, press release on 1st of June that uh, when we opened up the health vertical that uh, we would like to be the top three uh, health uh, insurance providers in the country. So that's the goal that we are uh, pursuing on uh, health. Right. I think we will grow, we will grow in all sectors. And uh, I think it has been, uh, uh, whether it is Tier two, tier three, tier four, as well as in the uh, in the uh, metros, we will have a uh, uh, growth strategy where we would try to spread because our clientele itself is spread across. Our brand is known throughout. We would increase, and we would also look at uh, pitching up for even uh, the group health business where people are ready to pay you for service. So traditionally, if you look at group health business, it's a loss making business. Uh, uh, generally for the market, but we would actually try to pitch up for any, everything where people appreciate service. And that's going to be our motto that, uh, you know, grow and grow profit. What are the bigger challenges facing the health insurance sector in India today? I would rather put it in this manner. Uh, India 
has got a lot of challenges on the health side. If I look at from the, the other side, which is the service provider side, I think a lot of unregulated health industry which is going on needs to be regulated. Uh, the differential costs which are being charged for a particular treatment, whether it is a city or a metro or an urban or a semi-urban or a rural area, how it is done, whether it can be regulated. So these are on some of the basic issues, I think, which um, challenges which uh, the uh, entire health industry is facing. From the insurance point of view, yes, uh, just very recently, uh, the regulator has come out with the regulations of moving away from file and use and going into use and uh, file for the products part of it, which the industry was asking for a long time. And this is a real welcome uh, move that uh, we see happening. And I personally feel uh, that the industry will see a lot and lot of good products being brought out in the market on the health side, especially because of this pandemic, which uh, has completely changed the uh, buying uh, psychology of the person uh, as far as now it's become a part of his uh, financial planning portfolio, if I may put it in that manner. So just like people used to say, I need to have a fixed deposit, I need to have a pension plan, I need to have life insurance, I need to have my car insurance, my home insurance. Now they say I need to have a health insurance also. So it's become an integral part of the entire individual's portfolio planning uh, that has happened. Um, it's still supposed to evolve. Okay, Health insurance is not what we have seen, is not what is actually there. There is a long, huge scope for improvement on all sides, whether it is the hospitals who are providing the health services or the insurance companies who are trying to uh, cover those uh, different uh, services that are being provided by them. So I personally feel there is a long way which both uh, the health, health service providers and health insurers uh, have to go till we find that we have come to a level which both of us match. Hey, Dr. Shiraz can probably yeah. add. See, uh, healthcare expenditure, if you look at healthcare expenditure, 65% of the healthcare expenditure is for our patients. 35% is for inpatient. So today, whatever we are talking about, after 35% inpatient, we are covering a certain amount of people. So we still have the missing middle, which is there in terms of inpatient. But unless we are able to provide, so last 40 years, uh, 35 years and above, we've got health insurance, uh, which started from 86 medical claim, uh, and you still have hospitalization insurance. We need to move into comprehensive health insurance, which covers outpatient treatment, preventive care. Now, the major uh, reason why insurance companies have not been able to move that into is the, the nature of the healthcare sector. And if you ask me, that is, the, that is the major reason why health insurance is not moving from one to two. If you have, to, if you have a, so, so, some sort of uniformity in the healthcare sector, I think you would have a comprehensive health insurance, more of comprehensive health insurance being sold, purchased, and uh, you could have different forms. Could be managed care or different types of uh, health care, uh, you know, uh, uh, plans coming in, into the country. Great. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for taking our time uh, on this uh, afternoon and talking to us. Thank you so much. And